we have seen bunkers of every size and shape, from tiny Royal Observer Corps dens that house just three or four, to massive regional headquarters that could house hundreds. But at the start of the Cold War, there was one place that was less of an underground bunker and more of a subterranean city. Its tunnels and roadways stretch in a seemingly endless maze, and it's to here that we take our next trip. A place that few people have heard of, and even fewer have visited. So now we know that all over Britain there are a series of bunkers so that the local authorities could coordinate any cleanup after a nuclear strike and run any military response needed locally. But what a central government? Where would the Prime Minister, the Cabinet and the top military brass run the whole show? Now intelligence suggested that London would be heavily bombarded, so a base that could take not hundreds but thousands of people was needed outside of the capital. And the site that was officially selected was here in Corsham in Wiltshire. Up until a few years ago, this bunker didn't officially exist and was subject to the strictest levels of security. But in this day of open and accountable government, the MOD officially acknowledged its existence in 2004. 